Good evening here and thanks for joining us. I'm Liz DeWicke. So the continuous problem of yellow water for people in Sunland Park and Santa Teresa now getting the state of New Mexico's attention. Jacqueline Quinones explaining how several state agencies are now getting involved, but also why it took so long to get to this point. The New Mexico Environmental Department requested an investigation with the water company in Sunland Park in Santa Teresa. And today the Lieutenant Governor spoke with us exclusively, telling us that there is more happening at the state level. Now that the state is getting involved, residents I spoke with say they hope something changes. Recently, within the last couple months, I would say late last year, the water was coming out undrinkable, brown, yellow. Even when you flush it, it looks like somebody just peed. This neighbor who didn't want to be identified on camera says that just two days ago, her water looked like this. She says even though her water appears to look better today, she says it is constantly changing. We don't feel safe drinking it at all or using it for anything. Yeah. But sometimes yeah. we have to shower in that water because there's no other choice. Last week, the New Mexico Environmental Department sent a letter to New Mexico Department of Justice urging them to investigate the utility. Uh, we recognize that the Department of Justice has been notified to look and see from the consumer protections uh, aspect of it, of how people have been impacted. But today, we tracked down the Lieutenant Governor at an unrelated event. We asked how long the state has been aware of the problem and why it's taken so long to even get to this point. So we just came out of legislative session, uh, continue to work with the environment department to let the people know that we are taking this seriously, regardless of the part of state or the region that it's in, uh, all of New Mexico matters, every New Mexican matters. Lieutenant Governor Howie Morales said the state became aware of the problem in December. He also told us they're now looking into other issues that have been brought up with CRUA, even if they can't take over the utility as some residents have asked for them to do. And then those attorneys that are representing these people, they were calling on the governor to issue an emergency order and seize operations of CRUA. Um, is that something that you think needs to happen as well? Yeah, well, under state law, the state is prohibited from coming in to, to take over CRUA, but we can assess sanctions as we've done. Uh, we're uh, ready to provide technical support and at the same time provide enforcement as necessary to make sure that people are safe. The lieutenant governor did let us know that the governor is being updated on the recent situations and they will be planning a visit very soon. Meanwhile, we reached out to CRUA regarding this investigation and we're still waiting to hear back. Reporting in the newsroom, Jacqueline Quinones, KFOX 14 News at 9. So as Jacqueline just mentioned in her story here, the utility notifying residents today that they are flushing out fire hydrants to remove sediment, which could also cause discolored water. The utility is saying today, as they have as well in the past, that it is safe to drink the water. However, also recommending that people wait until it clears up before drinking it again. So KFOX 14 asking the utility to kind of explain that contradiction. A spokesperson telling us that there was no contradiction, adding this, quote, the discolored water stems from sediments consisting of naturally occurring iron and manganese that is found in nearly all water systems, end quote. And then we asked again why people should wait if the water is safe. And they said, quote, they don't need to wait. It is only a recommendation.